downtown Gibson City. It's time to meet our final grill master of the season. I'm here with Adam Elder. Adam, thank you for being here. How are you? I'm very good. Very good. Thanks for having us. Good. You were born and raised in Gibson City, right? Yep. Born and raised in Gibson City. Been here all my whole life. And now you're raising a family here, too. Raising a family here. Yep. Yep. All right. So I, we're going to talk a little bit about your catering business in just a minute. But I want to talk first about what we have going on in the grill sure. today. Yeah. So we picked a couple uh, different things today to, to show you, but uh, the first one is uh, going to be a, uh, it's called a pork on a stick. So it's basically just a, a nice pork chop that's uh, had a really nice butcher kind of take the bone a little bit uh, more. So they sell these uh, uh, a lot of fairs and stuff um, around. So um, just kind of a fancy pork chop. Over here we have uh, what's called, what I like to call a pork shot. So. Um, it's pork kielbasa wrapped in bacon with some uh, goodies on top there. So, Adam, why'd you pick this today? Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, so, um, I know the pork producers usually have a, a thing at the uh, the state fair with the um, the pork chop here, and of course they weren't able to do that this year. So I just uh, asked them. I say, hey, let's uh, throw some on the grill here. Um, this thing here, this pork uh, shot, is something that. Uh, uh, we do a lot for appetizers and stuff with our catering business, so. All right, well, now is the big time to talk about the catering business. Sure. Because I actually joined you this week as you were boxing up some lunches for schools around here as well as some police officers, so let's take a look at that. Back in 2017, my wife and I started a catering company, Drummer Creek Catering. I had been uh, kind of uh, grilling and smoking for probably, oh, 10, 15 years now, uh, just for fun. And then it got to the point where some people were asking me to uh, do some meets for them for different things, graduation parties or, uh, you know, little get-togethers they were having. Then it kind of turned into, hey, we could make some money doing this. It's something we enjoy. It's uh, fun. So, yeah, we normally uh, do weekend events, a lot of weddings, a lot of corporate events. But uh, today was a little different. The school asked to have some box lunches. How are you guys? Good. All right. Anytime uh, we do a box lunch, I usually just throw a few extras in uh, for free for the police department here in town. They're just uh, great guys. Um, a lot of them are our friends. And, um, and I think it's just kind of important to kind of show your support. I've had a lot of fun being able to watch he and Christy build this business. And it's given me um, things to do in my spare time. Yeah, she helps us uh, out quite a bit. I, I'm not real sure where the cooking came from because I wasn't all that big of a cook or showing and how to do cooking, but uh, he always liked to try new things and try new recipes as he got older, and then it just blossomed. Uh, Lane is my oldest son, and he, uh, he likes to stack the wood for me. We use uh, a lot of wood with our smokers, so him and Landon, my youngest boy, um, are uh, getting really accustomed to stacking that wood. So, and I'm teaching them how to run the smoker too. So, a lot of times, um, you know, if I'm busy in the kitchen or whatever, I can say, "Hey, go throw on a couple pieces of wood," and they know they know exactly what to do and how many pieces to put on. Yeah, I grew up uh, here in town. Been here all my life. It's a fantastic community. Great school district. Uh, great hospital, police department. Um, just an all-around uh, great place to, to raise a family. Um, I don't plan on going anywhere else. Very nice. Drummer Creek Catering. I never really got to ask you what is in the name behind Drummer Creek. Uh, so uh, Drummer Creek is uh, just kind of significant to this area. Is Drummer Creek. The actual Drummer Creek uh, runs uh, down through that side of town there. So it was just kind of, uh, it felt right. It is truly Gibson City. That's right. Love it. Also, let's talk a little bit about what's on the menu for you guys if people are interested in ordering catering. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we do a lot of pulled pork. Uh, we do we mostly do smoked meats, so a lot of pulled pork, and um, we do brisket. Um, we have a couple uh, different kinds of chicken that we do, and uh, yeah, then just a bunch of sides. So you talked a little. Eating. You said you know your expertise is in the meat, and the sides kind of came later, and that's you had to like yeah kind of choose what sides you want to learn yeah, to make. So. Yeah. What's so, your favorite? What do you think you do the best? Uh, so I think uh, our, our green beans, are just, just a little special. It's kind of a little kick to them. Um, so those are, are a really popular item. And then our cheesy potatoes, um, which are fantastic. And I actually got to try some of those. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> After shooting that story, I got to, like, wolf them down in the, in the CI living car driving back yeah. to the station. So they were 
totally delicious. Oh, good. Adam, good. thank you so much. Um, we're going to join you in just a bit later on, and we're going to probably uh, get get a bite of this. And I also want to mention really quickly that you guys are here selling a few pork sandwiches. So sure. what's going on there? Yeah, yeah so uh, we decided to set up tonight. Uh, we're uh, selling pulled pork sandwiches, uh, pit beans, and coleslaw. So you definitely get to try some of those uh, other things we have. All right, Adam, thank you so much. Drummer Creek Catering, we've got you guys connected online at CILiving.tv, so go check that out, or you can come on down to Gifton City and try a sandwich for yourself right now.